I don't know how long this is going to take, but I want the Kyle Bear Guide to Franciscan. It's like Ned B's classified, whatever it was, Guide <laughs> to High School type thing, right? So we're going to take Kyle Bear's Guide to Franciscan, give us the ins and outs, what you should be prepared for, all, right. all that kind of stuff. So the first thing you're going to want to do, right? We're going to, this is going to be a little bit of a male centric guide because I don't know what it's like to be a woman. But if you're a guy, if I'm you, I'm going to make sure I'm on campus, meaning I'm not going to be on that lower campus like scam dorm mm-hmm. thing because Franciscan has like maybe four dorms on top of this hill. And below the hill, they have this really nice hotel, but, and it's very comfortable, but no. You don't go to Franciscan because it has good dorms. It's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. You go to Franciscan, even though it has crappy dorms. I spent four years in a dorm without air conditioning voluntarily. You do it because of the community. And I think that's the first thing to really realize is like, why are you doing this? The second thing I would say is if you think you're cool, you're not. By virtue of going to Franciscan, none of us were cool. That's just the absolute fact of it. I don't care how good you are at sports. I don't care if you're a good player. Even if you play for the Franciscan sports, you play D3. You're not cool. That's just how it works. So that's a part of my advice, guys, is drop the ego. No one cares, and you shouldn't either. This is a niche note, but if you're a sophomore, by credit, you're a freshman. If you come in for your first year to high school and you're a junior by credit, you are also a freshman. No one likes it when people say that. It's never once made someone go, wow, that's interesting in the history of the planet. And then I think the other advice, once you start to get a little more serious, is to recognize that, yeah, you made it to Franciscan, but St. Peter doesn't just check for a diploma at the gate, right? It's not enough to be like, oh, no, I went to like this crappy school. You don't get it. It was in Steubenville. No, that's that's not enough. And while you go to Franciscan, Yes, you are kind of starting holiness on like second base. They don't count runs till you hit home plate, right? So that would be really important to recognize that, yes, it's like sick that there's a chapel in your dorm, but if you're not going often, there's, there's, no, there's no point. Like you're just, you're just kind of like doing this cosplay as a Catholic thing. And then uh, I would also recommend for social media for everybody to tell – Because there is a lot to be said for evangelizing on your personal social media. Because even the most franny, sheltered Catholic there is probably has a few non-Catholic followers. So there's a lot to be said for being a witness. But my advice would be, especially as a freshman, just be intent. Like, think about why you're doing what you're doing. Because I just saw a lot of, I mean, maybe it's just because I would call any household that wasn't brothers, like the Pharisee household. I did it for like all of them. <laughs> maybe it's just because I'm a hater, but keep that in mind. Let's see. What are some other advice? Yeah. Franny is, uh, it's not that difficult if you're a business major, but it's a double-edged sword because it's easy, but then you're not really going to be prepared for a lot of jobs. <laughs> so, you know, keep that in mind. It's a smart idea to actually try to learn some skills, even if it's not a lot. But if you re- if you like wake up halfway through your junior year and realize that like this is all kind of stuff I sh- I did in high school, you can decide to coast for another year and a half and have a lot of fun. Or you can like try to learn like two useful things that'll help in a job interview. I'd I'd really recommend that. I'd Join a household. I don't. No one's too cool for a household. Not everyone needs a household, but everyone can join. Everyone can benefit from one. And they're, they're so much fun. Like they're a blast. And then uh, if you walk out of there and you don't have at least one intramural sports championship, like you did something wrong. You gotta. You gotta find a way to get into the game. Yeah. Oh, and then uh, one last note: when you go to Franciscan, people tell you don't date freshman fall. All people will tell you that it's common advice. Mm -hmm. I dated a girl freshman fall, got my heart shattered. I still recommend it though. It's really good in life to date someone. Just get your heart broke. It stinks. You grow up. You figure it out. Like you're not going to die. Like go date a girl. I'm not saying do something stupid like go have premarital sex, but go date a girl. Like take her out on a date. Tell your parents you really like her, even though you've known her for three weeks and it's not going to work. Like there's people always think that like, when I, cause I'll say that, like, go make mistakes. Like, I don't always, I don't mean go sit. I mean, like, if you're not sure how to approach someone about the faith and you really just don't know if you'll ever be ready, like, take, go walk on the water, go try. Like, what's the worst that can happen? You embarrass yourself. All right, 
learn from it. Like, I think it's important to not be so scared of failure. We like prevent ourselves from like reaching to greatness, you know? Yep. Yeah, no, I think those are all valid. I would agree with actually every single one of them. Probably. I think a good point, like I like to bring up with Jake. And then when we had on, you know, the homies, uh, the prod brother collab podcast, those guys, a lot of me. like, so funny. It, I mean, it's a lot of like, you're going to, you're going to get out what you put in. I mean, that's what Franciscan is. It's like the, the culmination of getting out what you put in. You can literally be like the most rebellious goon of all Catholics on, on campus, but you're still like the, you're, you're the rebellious goon of like Franciscan. So it means that yeah. you're actually still like, a it doesn't mean outside. anything. <laughs> <laughs> so it means that still means that you go to confession. It's just like once a month instead of like every week. And then you still go to mass. You know what I mean? It's like, you're not really that, but still regardless, it's like, you know, we knew a lot of people, something that we'd say in, in household was like, dude, if you can't go to these commitments here while you have 30 guys with you and you have literally 18 chapels at your disposal. And then you think you're going to do it outside of school when you graduate and have kids and a family and a job, like it's just not going to happen. So it's a good test, I think, to see like, hey, if you're practicing here, it's not always going to translate, but you know, it could help. It's kind of like the G League now, you know, it's like if you do well yeah. there, you're probably going to do pretty well in the NBA, but it's not always guaranteed. 